Michael, thank you so much. We'll keep a close eye on that forecast. Now to our segment today with the Office on Aging. You know, it can be a very tough decision to decide really when it's time to leave your home. When living at home is no longer an option for some of our older adults. We have Dottie in with the Office on Aging. Thanks so much for coming on in, Dottie. Thank you, Lexi. Talk a little bit about maybe what are some of the signs that maybe it's time mm -hmm. to be moving out of the home and going somewhere else. That's a good question. I think for everyone it's different. And everyone, you know, staying at home may not always be an option for everyone, even though that's where we all want to be. And sometimes there's a different level of care that might be appropriate for someone, depending on what their health needs are, or maybe what if they have a different diagnosis, such as Alzheimer's or dementia, that may re may lend to having another level of care provided to them. And so we talked about different levels of care there. What are some of the different, I guess, um, levels of housing, if you will, for some of our older adults? Yes. Well, of course, we, um, a lot of people live in either a home or apartment a lot of times, but there is also independent living, okay. assisted living, uh, nursing facilities, as well as memory care facilities. And so most people, all I think of a lot of times is nursing homes or nursing care facilities. And that there are many more options than that, depending on what somebody's needs are. Now, cost could be a big factor for a lot of people. We know that many of these um, options are not cheap. So for families who are looking into this option, maybe if they're visiting a place, touring, interviewing people, what are some of the things that they should be looking for on their checklist with that cost? Well, we certainly do suggest that people visit multiple facilities because what works for one individual, maybe a friend, doesn't always work for you. Maybe because of the cost or the environment, maybe it's something you don't enjoy that they enjoy. Um, so definitely cost is a big factor. Um, looking at the environment, if you're looking for a larger place to live or a smaller place to live, if they have activities that you want to get involved in, looking at those types of things. And then finding out also what kinds of cost are um, what the cost is paying for too and okay. what you're going to get for those dollars. Okay, and we have the Senior Service Directory here, which we've pointed out a couple of times to you all, but tell us how this is really just a go-to guide, mm -hmm. especially in terms of housing options. Yes, so we have many resources in our Senior Service Directory, and in the front of our book, we call it the Blue Pages. It's an action guide, and it really gives some tips on preparing for different levels of care, and it's a great place that people can go to get some preliminary information. And then we can also connect them with um, agencies and companies locally that can help guide them through that, go with them on tours and visit and help them find a, a place free of charge. Let me rephrase that. Go, they can help go with them free of charge to find a place to live. Perfect, which can be very helpful, especially because this can be an overwhelming process. So, Dottie, thank you so much again. We have links to the Senior Service Directory and how you can get your hands on one online at WATE.com and, of course, on our 6 on Your Side News app. Make sure you stick with us right after the break. We're going to get a check on that hot and humid forecast.